Yes, yes, people, welcome back to my channel TV. Oh, what? The Spider Man's in the background. Three wins in a row now for Eddie Howe's Black and White Army. Four points clear in the relegation zone. One nil win over Babilla. Was not a classic, let's be honest. You know, in the second half, it felt like they were really suitable. The suitables tonight, I felt like I've already watched the suitable because there's so many stop and start. But what a win that is for Newcastle. Massive, massive win. So carrying on the results of recent times. Everton on Tuesday, Leeds away last week. Kieran Trippier yet again. Trippier over the wall, under the wall, around the wall. Who gives a fuck over the wall? Yeah? Three points, another goal from Captain Trips. Captain Trippier the day with the goal. What an influence he's been. And then I think the second half was so stop start because we had so many substitutions, so many changes, so many. You know, Trippier came off. Um, Trippier came off, had to be replaced by Kraft. Manquillo came off, Dumman had to come on. You know, so many changes. The other sad reason it was stop and start is there was two medical emergencies in the crowd today. Two medical emergencies, man. What on earth is going on? I just really hope that those two fans are all right. We'll see if we get an update from the club about them, but that's worrying. It's very scary. It kind of derailed the last... Well, the second half completed in the last 10 minutes. We had seven minutes out of time and it happened again. East Stand and Gallagher behind me. Oh, it's absolutely awful, man. It's awful what's happening at the minute. And back onto the pitch, massive win for Newcastle. Huge, huge win for Newcastle. West Ham away next week and they'll go into that full of confidence. Full of confidence again. I think Villa was shocking today. Very, very poor. From what I've said, I said I was confident in the preview. But in terms of Gerard and Coutinho and all their players that were fit the day, Buendia, I expected a lot, lot more from them and they didn't perform at all. We were rarely tested. Watkins had a goal ruled out, rightfully so it looked like for me, for offside. Apart from that, I can't remember really being tested. And we didn't really test Villa that much either, I mean, you know, we didn't do enough to test Villa. Um, but we got the goal, kept on the lead, it kept on the three points, and that three points is just unbelievably massive. Unbelievably massive, that. like I said, four points to the relegation zone, three wins in a row. How long it took us to get our first win of the season when we'll be Burnley under Eddie Howe in November I think it was you know to now get three wins in a row remarkable we didn't even see Bruno again Bruno came on and started same Dan Bain big up Bain Blythe Bain he was solid as a rock at the back he made me feel so comfortable there at the back every single time the ball came up to him aerial duels on the ground he was so comfortable so composed he was class Um I even think the players that came on so did a job. Middle of the park will look good again. Willick showing glimpses. Wood holding up the ball. Mm, it's again not great, but he holding up the ball and stuff. Maxi didn't really look at it the day, didn't really look on fire or up for it as much as he normally would be in terms of running at people. Had a good shot saved in the second half. But I couldn't give a crap today. Couldn't give a crap. All I care about is those three points that we have in the bag and being four points above the relegation zone. Absolutely buzzing with that. Buzzing with that. Absolutely over the moon, honestly. What a win that is the day. I say 1-1 in the preview on Optimistic 2-1 Newcastle, but 1-0 to Newcastle. Trippier, yet again. Let's hope his injury isn't bad and he can be fifth West Ham away next week. That'll do me. Let us know your comments. You can still hear Spider-Man bash his drums. I would say James Paul in the background. Subscribe, comment, share, like. See you later.